Hello, it's Rolf from Tesla Owners US and when the heating fails, then there is a problem in most of the part of the country. Usually it's not in Arizona, but I would like to fix it. And I'll tell you the most economical repair, how to repair this. And this comes after this intro. Let's come to the problem. So what we found out, the, he the heating failed. And in Arizona, it's not a problem, but when it comes to winter, there can be a problem. Uh, it's getting a little cold to freezing and you would like to have, even when you have seat heatings, the heating on. And don't think that it's not been improved because Tesla does improve parts throughout the line and uh, throughout the years of manufacturing but my wife has now a 2012 Tesla Model S which is running out of full warranty complete of complete warranty including drivetrain and battery in the at the end of October of this year so but I want to have that heating being done and in an economical repair now I tell you what the problem was so we found out heating doesn't work the first thing to check is we have to measure the on the DC DC converter and watch out this is high voltage on that converter so you have to be very careful and need to have an expert for that in order to do that shut down the whole car connect the uh, DC power disconnect the DC powers and then we measured the DC DC converter which is in the passenger front rear well in the back so you have to take the rear wheel uh, uh, funding off and then you can see the DC DC converter I'm going to show some pictures for that DC DC converter there and we noticed that the DC DC converter which in Tesla is usually being exchanged that DC DC converter has a price about of a thousand dollar so at least that was starting with a thousand dollar of a repair but we found out when we measured that from the input of this plug that this plug is from the heating that the breaker or the fuse and that's a ceramic fuse in there broke so what we found out also is that you usually don't open that box but there was a ceiling around there and there are screws and you could open and service this box and can replace the fuse in there so and but we had to disassemble that first take that out open that lid in the back there and show you some pictures from that and find out what fuse that was get the part number of that fuse and once we had the part number of fuse don't try to look up by description you not find the right one once we had the part number of that fuse then we found out that the fuse was a 700 volt fuse 40 amp that needs the ceramic that needs to be replaced so but that's really not what the culprit is or the problem of the whole thing the problem was actually the heating unit and let me show you how the heating unit looks like actually it's in the whole HVAC system that is the heating unit basically it slides into the airstream and here are the devices or the laminates there which heats up how that, that heating unit works it, the heating unit has and actually there is a version 3 of that heating unit out I think Tesla knows what to improve on that and they did this is the version 1 what that heating unit does it has 6 blocks one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. On on those six blocks, there are only two working at the same time. Then after that, it switches to the next two, where the first one cools down, and then the next two, and then it switches back to the first two. So it's rotating in in a cycle of two, two, and two of those six heating blocks. Now this, what we also noticed there, this. You will find there here, I hope you can see that, 
But what we found there, there is corrosion. And that corrosion there is power rear has caused a short. So it may be a short that all heating units turned on, draw too much power, and that tripped the breaker. So we looked up this part number on the internet. There are some people who are salvaging uh, Teslas. And we found a part number for $185. So let me tell you the parts cost. The fuse was $15. This part was on eBay, $185. Then the labor for that. Now we took a little bit more labor on that because we had to check first what was the problem, what was the real problem of that and not just exchanging parts. Tesla would have exchanged you the DC-DC converter exchange to the PTC, actually it's called PTC in version three. It's another thousand dollar plus the labor, let's say $125, $150. You would become to about $2,500, $2,600 plus tax on that repair. So what did we do on that repair? So $185 for a used one, $15 for the fuse, and about four hours of labor, what I got charged about $100. So we could have done it in a faster time if we would not uh, uh, had to analyze what the problem was, but we found the problem. Sometimes what Tesla does is they are not only exchanging their DC, DC converter as a whole. Sometimes they usually what they do is they they're changing the DC, DC converter at the whole, send it back to uh, main uh, California, they probably overhaul it or repair it and send it back. Sometimes they get the permission on the local service center to open that also. And there is a ceiling around that and uh, open that, exchange the fuse, put another fuse in, close it and he gets the original unit back. That's the sustainable repair. Now, what was the problem? The moisture came into that unit. And there's a lid on that one here, which just clips in, here, that lid. And when you look around the lid on both sides, or on the unit itself, or on this side, what should that have is actually a ceiling around that. And there's no ceiling. And uh, maybe it's close enough or not, but it looked like there came moisture in that unit, which cause the unit to fail yeah, and the uh, breaker to trip. That's how it got repaired for a fraction of the price of the original one. And that's what I would do in repair because it needs to be a sustainable repair to preserve so many parts as possible. That's all. And if you like that, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell that you get more information for more and better economical uh, repairs. Because in the future, the Teslas will get older and they would need some repairs. Uh, the good thing is Tesla improved on these, has already a version three out. So even if you don't see it from the outside, but it's been upgraded to better inside. That was all and talk to you the next time. Bye bye. Say